This channel is sponsored by Creality. Creality has all of your 3D tools that you need to bring your ideas to life. Scanners, printers, and even engravers. And there's very cool things that you can make with them, such as a little boat, a vase, or a vase, a little supercar, a full-size supercar, Start your journey at Creality.com. Hey guys, welcome back. Another uh, cold day. Um, actually, it's supposed to warm up to like 55 or so. So, but this morning it's a little chilly. Uh, but that's all right. Crack on, right? Um, anyway, we're gonna uh, get back on the McLaren. Uh, there's a few things I've been doing, so I'll show you those. But uh, the next thing that we have to do is uh, motor mounts. And then after that, I have to tackle uh, transmission mounts. So anyway, let's, uh, let's go ahead and get started. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use uh, some steel. This is a two by four uh, steel, 120 wall. It's uh, basically what I made the main cabin out of the uh, Aventador in. And um, two reasons. First one is uh, I don't have a piece of aluminum this big even from the spare frame i don't have one long enough uh and the second one is strength this is going to be a hell of a lot stronger than any aluminum and so <clears throat> what i can do is uh I'll weld the en engine mounts to this and then bolt this probably through the frame uh on the mclaren so that i get a really nice uh, uh mounting for this and it doesn't crush the uh, aluminum when i bolt it down so we're gonna go under that premise. Uh, we're gonna give it a shot and we're gonna see how it goes. So let's get at it.
Well, how's my welding, guys? These professionals out there, it's probably not fantastic, but um, anyway, we'll do the job. So, yeah. So we can bolt our cross member to our beam after it, you know, cools down for a while. <laughs> okay, guys, we got that bar in. Uh, I did M12s up there for uh, big support and then down here uh, we did a little plate uh, to give it so we've got shear here and then we've got in tension here which is always a good idea uh, when you have something this massive um, so anyway that's uh, what that's gonna look like I've done some reinforcements here on the uh, engine mounts and then that black thing up there right now is just an aluminum spacer which will become uh, so either rubber or urethane um, to take out a little bit of vibration from the engine so that's where we're at there the next thing we have to do is I have to clearance this guy right here because it's hitting right there and then it also interferes with the oil filter here um, so I think I'm just gonna cut that um, over here, I'm just gonna kind of do a line across here uh, where it makes sense so that I can have that clearance. And then that way I can uh, tighten up these uh, gaps here, uh, put the proper screws in, get that bolted up uh, where it belongs. And then the next thing we have to do is we have to work on the transmission mounts. So let's get to it. Okay guys, block of wood for now. Um, but this is probably what we'll build off of. Uh, let me go down to this, you see. So this is probably what we'll build off of uh, going to here. Um, I'm not really sure where to tie that in. Um, so I'm gonna have to think about it. But for now, this is a transmission cross brace. So this can hold it uh, up and down but it can't handle any torque. So that's why we gotta get these guys attached into a strong position. So I've gotta come up with an idea for that. Anyway, engine mounts are in. Uh, so I'm probably gonna run a bar across here, get an aluminum bar, run across and tie these guys in uh, just so they're not flapping in the breeze. Um, but yeah, there you go. Let me know what you guys think. So, next thing we gotta do is, uh, remember this is loose because this bearing in here is uh, dead. Um, we also have a broken uh, mount there for the... Okay guys, so I went ahead and took this all apart and it turns out that it's just got a couple of these ball bearing guys here, which has a little capture ring and uh, I think 
what happened was that the wheel got a bit of a knock on it and because of that um, there is some damage here so I think because of that um, it may have just knocked this out of uh, spec as far as the clamping force of this guy and this guy because these are an interference fit and that gives you the preload on the bearings so what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean this all up and maybe even fix the seals because it's just a grease seal it's not like it's an oil seal or anything so I looked online I really couldn't find anything of course McLaren wants to sell you the entire hub which is ridiculous so let's see if we can put this back together Actually worked. Um, I'm sure it'll loosen up a little bit more over time. Um, just got this little dust cover to put on. Now obviously down the road we'll probably take a look at it. Make sure it's doing okay plus we got to run the car but at least for the meantime I think we actually did it well guys I uh, hope you like this video um, I'm really happy to have the engine mounts done and also uh, fixing that uh, hub. I mean, I couldn't find anywhere where you could just buy the parts to reassemble that hub and it was like $700. So um, I think you could get it as cheap as maybe 500. But then you're risking, you know, what's the problem? Um, I think what happened is a lot of the, uh, again, it got hit and then a lot of the grease came out and so but now it seems solid. So anyway, we're uh, getting on with our printing. You can see here, we've got like half of the P1 style hood there. Um, got the fenders, uh, got basically the doors all done. And then I'm gonna start doing the dash and console and stuff like that. So anyway, look for that uh, coming. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do. Uh, hit that notification bell if you want to see when we upload uh, videos and of course uh, hit the like button uh, all of this helps us with the uh, YouTube and so we'll see you next time bye